Hello. My name is Allison Stevens. I'm the professor and coordinator of the Advanced Ergonomic Studies Program at Fanshawe College. Um, today I'd like to share with you some of the analysis tools that are available in the Process Simulate Human. I've used this tool for many years in my career at Ford, and we had some very exciting uh, advances in the field of ergonomics. So let's look at this simulation that we're going to uh, analyze for you today. Camel, could you show the simulation? Okay. We have chosen a 95 percentile male today uh, just to demonstrate some of the capabilities of being able to show reaches and things like this and clearances. Normally, when I would do an analysis, I usually choose the fifth percentile female. But just to show you the variety, we're going to use the uh, this simulation right now. So our, our operator has grabbed a one-handed lift and uh, placing it onto the trolley. So let's uh, use what we call the force solver to analyze this job. Camel, if you could go back to the beginning where he picks up that toolbox with one hand and pose the posture so we can do a force solver. Okay, so we've got the pose posture here. I'd like to use the force solver to analyze this. Emma, if you could pull up that menu, please. Sure. Force solver is from the analysis tools here. Let's click. Great. And before you hit solve, let me explain what's happening. So right now with this posture, it's analyzing it with the biomechanical tool and calculating for this static posture. In the green and yellow uh, that you see there, it's basically saying what is the percent capable. So it's analyzing the current weight of that, um, of that toolbox. So we have the current weight at 15 kilograms, and it is basically saying that there is uh, an issue there uh, wherever the yellow is um, being indicated. So this is uh, evaluating it to the 75% capable of the population. Camel, if you could please hit the solve button, let's see what it's recommending as the actual weight that someone could lift. So at this point, we now see it jump from or decrease from that 15 down to the 11 kilograms or I'm sorry, 12 Actually, uh, kilograms, 12, yeah. <laughs> 12 kilograms. Um, and so it's recommending in this posture that it exceeds the weight. Um, but to the recommended weight, and it fits, hence the solving, is at 12 kilograms. All right, so um, that's a very powerful tool as a proactive ergonomic um, analysis. If you know the postures that people are going to go into, as in the different shelves that you are designing, you can then predict what the acceptable weight is for 75% of the population. So this was a very proactive tool that we used. So let's see if we improve uh, his posture here. Uh, if we can get that um, that recommended weight, the, so the solved weight. Okay, we'll carry on with the simulation. Let's um, pose him when he places that toolbox onto the, uh, onto the cart. Great. Let's see what the recommended weight limit or the force that's solved in this posture. And solve. And we now have it at 11 and a half. So Biomechanically speaking, I think once you get into that bent elbow and onto the cart, even though we're thinking it's a better back posture, it turns out that from a um, upper arm that you're still running into that same yeah. range. So it's recommending about 11 and a half to 12 kilograms um, throughout that uh, from the origin and the destination points. Excellent. So. Um, Thank you, Camel. If we could go back to the, the simulation. 
Um, the, some of the things then that we can use this tool for is to analyze any of the postures throughout the whole simulation. You can just do it as a static evaluation. It will also calculate for you the compression in any of those, um, those points. Thanks for joining today.